our triggers, our activations are always information for where we can heal. Oftentimes there are things or patterns in our life that are replaying. And when we take the time to really sit and explore, what we find is that it's related to our past. And so, you know, obviously we can't change the past, but what we can change is how it's affecting you in the present. And when I learned about IFS, I kind of stumbled across it. Um, it was life-changing for me. And that's why, I, that's why I'm such a fan of it. It's why I teach it because I believe that um, it can be life altering for everybody in, in a positive way. And that um, I, can, I can be in the world in such a different way than before. And um, it also helps me, the more compassionate I can be towards my, my parts, the more I can extend that to others clue, but it's almost like if someone touches you here and like, it's either a nothing, or if there's a bruise here, it's like, ow, what the heck are you thinking? And yeah. if we're saying, ow, what the heck are you thinking? There's a clue. That's right. There's a clue. That's right. So one of my mentors, um, Rena Dubin says that it's either Velcro or Teflon. So Ooh. when something says something that sticks, then it's hit a wounded place, right? So if someone says something to me and I can't get it out of my head or I'm offended by it, that was a Velcro, right? And so it obviously touched a place in me that has some wounding that needs attention. But if it just, you know, was Teflon and it rolled on, <clears throat> on out of the pan, then, you know, and what's Teflon for me might be Velcro for you. So if I'm blended with a part, I'm speaking from that part, right? If I'm blended with an anxious or an angry part, then I'm speaking from it. If I can get some space from it, I can speak for it. Wow. That's such an important distinction to speak from versus for. That's right. It's huge. And, and a lot of it is around attachment wounds, right? that we weren't attuned to as children, that we weren't met in the way that we needed to be. And so in this work, you're creating, you're doing the attachment repair oh. um, and giving those little ones inside of you what they needed that they didn't get in the past. And that translates into being so much more open-hearted and so much so much more intentional and less reactive 